video games are hard to make. You have so many different pieces moving all at once where it's almost a miracle that games get made as frequently as they do. Something that's apparently equally as hard, however, is adapting a video game to make it a successful adaptation. We've had a lot of different video games getting the live action treatment, you know, and for the most part, those have been very, very bad. Some have been okay. Looking at you, Witcher. I said okay, but you know, there's a possibility that you could really tank. But there's two series out right now. Well, one's way finished. One just started. But I think those exemplify how you shouldn't and should adapt the series. And if you've seen the thumbnail, you've read the title, you know what I'm about to talk about here. When it was announced that Halo would be getting a TV series, a lot of people were hyped. Especially because people saw the Neil Blomkamp uh, little trailer that they did, little proof of concept, and thought they were working in that direction. Then you found that Steven Spielberg is going to be behind it, so the hype just got higher and higher and higher and higher. And then the trailer came out, and a lot of people were hesitant. They had apprehension. Some people were, you know, just very close-minded and had some very bigoted opinions about the trailer, which is why they didn't like it. Who well, I won't name names, but you guys know who I'm talking about. If you're into the Halo stuff, you know who I'm talking about. But for the majority of people, they're like, okay, we'll just wait and see. You could take some liberty with this series, as long as you, you know, keep the core the same. And then the series dropped and not the series people were expecting. Um, they took far too many liberties with the source material. It's almost unrecognizable. Like the showrunners had said this was like a different take on Halo, but there's a difference between a different take and then just making your own stuff up and then calling it Halo. And that's kind of what they did. I mean, just for starters, you had the covenant with a human in a high position, a human working with the Covenant. And that was strange. And suddenly the Master Chief was all about like, you know, he wants to go bone and all that stuff too. It, it, was, it was a lot. It was a lot. And that final fight... I mean, not good stuff, but I feel like if that's what we had to have in order to get the last of its adaptation, then you know what? Call me Edward Elric because equivalent exchange, baby. <laughs> Can't have one without the other. The last of us has only, at the time of my making this video, only one episode out, but that one episode is better than any video game adaptation has ever been. And a lot of it, I will say, is the fact that The Last of Us as a game was effectively a movie. So it wasn't like they couldn't just, you know, pull from that source material. But the beauty of this adaptation is not only is the casting perfect, like pitch perfect casting. Like when I saw Ellie and the first words out of her mouth and she cussed, I was like, that's her. Pedro Pascal is Joel. It's... It's great. There's literally some parts in the episode where I was like, this is just a video game in the best way possible. Like I thought I was, I, I was holding my control at one point. Okay. And I'm being serious. I'm not trying to make a joke. I have my control in my hand. I'm like, this is the game. I got, oh my God, push pause. You know, but the, the casting is so tight. It's so phenomenal. Even the casting of Sarah, who's a, a though her impact is long felt throughout the um, video game. She's only in the game for like, what 10 20 minutes is roughly and that might be even stretching it and her impact is just i mean spoiler alerts if you haven't played the last of us or watched episode one but she just dies that's that's the whole thing she's the impetus of what makes joe who he is but the casting was on point and the fact that they did what i think all adaptations strive to do and that is adding to the source material it is giving us the context that we might not have gotten in the original source in order for us to, you know, connect better with the characters or to get a deeper understanding of the world and people's uh, relationships and character actions. 
And they did a beautiful thing with Sarah. We got to basically experience the first half of the episode through her lens. Because in the game, you, you literally start with her in the house. And you, you play with her for a little rephrasing. You play as her for a, a small section. And they did kind of pay homage to that in the, when they're driving the car and you're in the backseat. Like, that's kind of how it was in the game. But that's pretty much it. You don't get to see her interactions with her neighbors, her go to school, or like any sort of like moments that make you actually care for her as a character. Her whole point is to make you care about Joel and what Joel's going through. But I think they actually did this one better here than the video game. And because of that, I almost forgot that she gets got. <laughs> and I was like, no, she's going to be fine because they genuinely made me care for her, which is something I'll admit I didn't really do much in the game when I played it. Like, I obviously cared for Joel and what he was going through, but, like, I only knew Sarah for five minutes. I didn't really care, but I didn't know all his daughters are naturally sad. But this one, they did perfectly. They also really uh, hyped up, for me at least, how they were going to handle the clickers. Now, a lot of people were upset, which I don't know why, that the spores were going to be gone. But it's like, you guys, putting on a, 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 a face shield a mask in a spore area would do nothing because again on your clothes the minute you took it off you'd be done though right like there's no protection against spores so i like the way they're doing it but i also don't like it because the way they show the little fungal thing is come it's honestly worse than the game and i didn't think that's possible i was not a fan of clickers because they grossed me out and now they're even more gross but it's so well done <laughs> it is so well done like this i have no complaints honestly about this show it is it, it that first episode just set that perfect bar for me like whether you play the game or not you're gonna enjoy this and if you have played the game i feel like you're gonna enjoy it even more because there's gonna be some reference to the oh okay i get this whatever and even things that they add it's like oh this makes the world make much more sense because at the end of the day a great adaptation like i said before adds to the game it adds to the source material it repackages in a way that it's digest digestible but also gives you a little bit more than what their original source could have given you compared to halo which was a almost a fanfic this is i want to say right now as of i'm recording this on january 18th 2023 at 1 34 pm it is the best video game adaptation i did it just become a review for the no i didn't review it but if you want me to review it i can do a separate video to review that but the way they handle this adaptation is it's textbook it's it's, it's it should be the gold standard again halo not a good adaptation i'm not even going to say as far as a series if it's bad or not but as an adaptation from the source material it's not good if you played halo and then you watch this it, you're going to be more engrossed in it and seeing how many things that you got wrong or completely changed than actually enjoying whatever story you're trying to put forward which is never good but with last of us it is just enjoyable from top to bottom the casting is strong the fucking art direction the costume design i'm like this is and yes i know neil Druckmann helped write this shit. i get it he was also you know, the director for the game but you know what that's not a knock against the show this is such a good adaptation and i'm excited because i didn't think we could get actually great game adaptation i was i was okay with just getting like witcher level for live action because if we're talking about animated we mean arcane's fantastic but like for live action i was okay with okay we're gonna get like our xena type level okay nothing too fantastic but better than most then this is just blowing out of the water now i'm like there's no excuse there is no excuse to not do it the way that the last of us is doing it and this is just episode one most shows it's like oh you have to kind of give it a little bit of time to get strong no this is we're at the gate such a good show such a good show maybe if halo gets a season two they'll you know hit the reset button after what the last of us is doing and be like hey let's just do that let's just you know adapt stories from either the books or the game that you know we're most likely trying to pull from and figure it out and i hope other future adaptations take a page from the naughty dog sony hbo playbook because if they do that we're going to enter a renaissance of video game live action adaptations wow 
wasn't that a good and or great video you just watched? I know if I liked the video, I would, you know, comment, I would like, I would follow, I would uh, share it to everyone. And I'd watch more videos. There's probably something, I don't know, floating around here. There's maybe another video for you to watch up there. I don't know. I didn't edit this. I don't know what's happening here. I'm trapped in a box, in a void. I don't get to leave unless you guys watch my other videos. Please. I definitely didn't steal this bit from College Humor.